some point, right? Holy shit, is that, is that some sort of miniature town? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Hubie, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> We're a nice, peaceful society full of cute little one-inch tall guys who love each other and only know how to be nice. We welcome all strangers with open arms and a full heart. I'm so, so glad you found your way to our sweet little slice of heaven. Please, we all hope you enjoy your time here. Go on, step inside. Trust me, friend, you'll have the time of your life here in Little Cutie Town. Just head on down the main strip there towards downtown and take in all the cute little sights. We have a library made of candy and a pond filled with honey. Oh, well, well, it's okay if you don't want to come in and see Cutie Town. It's, it's fine. My feelings aren't hurt at all. It doesn't bother me even a little bit that you didn't want to come in and take... Oh, fantastic. You've decided to take a look around Little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything Little Cutie Town has to offer. Destroying everything! Oh my God, you're so big! I, I didn't, I didn't realize how big you were compared to our town. It, oh my God, it's really obvious now. I just didn't realize how much damage you do. Oh my God, I shouldn't have invited you in. Oh my God, what did I do? That's my childhood home. You just stepped on some puppies. Oh my God, this is this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, you just crushed our house. At all. We have a state-of-the-art health care program here in Little Cutie Town where everyone gets treated for free. That hospital was full of sick people in need and now they're all dead. So you're just gonna keep you're gonna keep running around my, my cute little town and smashing stuff? Like you're just gonna have fun with that? That's that's what you wanna do? You know, you can leave, you can get out of here and do anything else. But you're not, you're just you're gonna keep knocking stuff down. <laughs> okay, alright. I'll just sit here and watch, I guess. I'm powerless to stop you. I'm so tiny and small and weak and cute. There's nothing I can do. If I wanted to stop you by force, it's, it's just... Ah! That was our power plant, our nuclear power plant. Totally safe, by the way, until you came and triggered a nuclear reaction. It just wiped out an entire neighborhood. Hundreds of happy families dead in an instant. And the radiation will linger for decades, killing anything that tries to grow there. So you're just gonna keep, you're gonna keep running around my, my, oh, you're destroying our historic monuments. Oh my God, that's Little Cutie Town Hall. That's where our founding fathers signed the original peace treaty that us little cuties have lived by for centuries. No bloodshed, no violence, just perfect cute little lives devoid of any disaster. Until today, you monster. So you're just gonna keep, you're gonna keep running around my, my cute little town and smashing stuff? Like, you're just gonna have fun with that? That's, that's what you wanna do? You know, you can leave, you can get out of here and do anything else. But you're not, you're just, okay, that's it, that's my, my whole, my whole town, my whole little cutie town's ruined. You've ruined the whole city and all my friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive and I am going to kill myself, I guarantee it. As soon as you walk away, I'm gonna be so depressed I just pop a gun in my own head and I die. I'm just gonna fucking die. How's that sound? No more living for me. I don't wanna be alive. My whole town and home is gone and dead and you did it, it's your fault. I know I invited you in, but you should should have realized you're so big, you're gonna ruin things. You should have told me. I didn't think about it. I'm kind of dumb sometimes, but you're you're not as dumb as me, I, I assume. So you should have said, hey, I'm not gonna go in there. I don't want to stomp on shit like a big Godzilla. Not for me. Not, not what I want to do with my life. I don't want to go kill everybody. That's what you should have said. Instead, you just did it. You walked in and you knocked over entire buildings. Everyone's dead now. I am, I am so sad. I'm so fucking sad right now. I know that I, I, mostly I'm just yelling, but if you, if you let me just calm down for a second, which I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna calm down right now. I'm so fucking sad. I'm so fucking depressed now. 
Do you have a, can, just shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out of my misery. I don't want to be, I don't want to be alive if everyone else I know is dead. This is survivor's guilt. You ever hear that when somebody goes to fight in a war and all the friends die and then they come back they're like, why me? Why did I live? I, I should have died. Why me instead of them? Well, guess what, pal? That's what I'm feeling right now. And I don't have the money to spend on any more therapy. So just pop, pop me in the head. Go ahead. Just squish my head like a grape with your gun. Please, just pop, pop me. Come on, I want to die. Oh, shit, you killed him. After you fucked this whole little town up. Oh, man, cold-blooded bounty hunter. Cold-blooded.